Oh, but all right, all right, we're back. I'm Strategic Selene. I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate that mobile game with every So Let's get into some Clash Royale today on the mini account. YT and Clan Bio haven't been on his account in a while for ladder play, so that's what we're going to get into in this episode. Possibly hop into a few challenge matches. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to have a ton of fun with it with this Lava Hound minor deck. But before we do get into anything, be sure to hit that subscribe button, show your support to the channel, and let's get right into it. Getting into this first match against nightmare let's see what he can do he is a level 10 he's throwing up the good luck let's throw him up the thumbs up he's sad because of the fact he thinks he is going to absolutely send us home to our mothers let me tell you this i'm already at home with my mother so he doesn't even need to do that so we're gonna end up just crushing him so we got lava hound mega minion moving in let's see what he wants to play next I'm thinking minor onto the musketeer we do have the arrows ready in case we see minion horde Skeleton army anything of the sorts beautiful able to take it all out keep the minor alive keep the bag of minion alive Keep the lava hound kicking sure enough lava hound pops lava pups mega minion Unfortunately, we lost the mega minion to the zap which was well played But we did take out his left tower Let's throw him the thumbs up because we're gonna send him home to his mother tell him he had a nightmare Let's see what we can do. We got to play some defense right now And that's what we want to do. So let's drop a tombstone right here for this giant and then build on this with the musketeer mega minion guards we want the whole shebang bizzle trying to take out this giant coming at us so let's drop a musketeer back here we're going to drop guards behind the giant to get rid of the musketeer without us taking too much damage the good thing about that is he actually pushed my musketeer back which is phenomenal along with this we'll also be dropping a baby dragon we can also send in some arrows now hopefully we could have kept my freaking musketeer alive unfortunately we didn't so what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to send in the miner on the back of the tower hopefully allow the guards to move in for a little bit of some damage wouldn't be bad guard does get to the tower with the baby dragon which isn't bad baby dragon is p -p 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 pounding that tower down with those fire breaths that's why we love him he says well played i'm gonna say thanks he was crying before do you guys remember when he was crying ugh, ugh. that's why you don't start with bad emotes especially when you're going against a level a lower level player because you never you know you want to know why they're up there because they're that good okay don't mess around with them he's got the giant moving in understandable he's going to fireball again which is fine with me we're going to set up tombstone mega minion he just wasted six elixir on my musketeer so he's very scared of it there's no doubt about that so what we're going to do now is we're going to send in the guards hopefully guards go straight for the musketeer unfortunately they didn't but what we can do now is we can drop some arrows help out with this graveyard beautiful also send in a mega minion dead on the musketeers also drop another tombstone we do have a ton of skeletons doing the the distraction that we really needed in this point of the match so now what we're going to do is we're going to send in another miner and a baby dragon unfortunately he plays a really good skeleton army but hopefully oh my musketeer almost could have survived let's drop another musketeer right here he wants to drop not drop another giant graveyard unfortunately that's just not going to work out for you so we're going to drop the crying face right now onto him let's throw another one and then let's laugh once because he did it to us and let's get into another match getting into another one against lay low lay low is another level 10 where are the level eights folks let's see what we can do we're gonna start off with a let's start off with a baby dragon he's gonna drop a skeleton army could have dropped guards but i prefer the baby dragon then along with this baby dragon we're actually going to be sending in the miner to the tower hopefully miner can tank for baby dragon sure enough looks like he is going to be able to do that baby dragon is going to lock on to the mega minion and the tower which is huge do some good damage hopefully take it out would have been nice but it's okay we can deal with that level two executioner oh my good lord what are you doing sir let's drop tombstone right here along with that we'll also be dropping guards just in case sparky decided he wanted to try to get a shot off on my musketeer sure enough she thing the trash can on wheels wasn't able to think that clearly musketeer it's taken out by a level 10 knight not something too worried about let's not we almost sent in the miner let's drop arrows right there for the goblin gang could have sent in a miner he does have the skeleton army which he probably wants to deploy so you know what i'm okay with the mega minion doing that thing so let's drop a musketeer here now help take out this mega minion probably shouldn't have actually dropped the musketeer only because my tower could have taken it out so let's send in the miner now See, they're going to drop Skeleton Army on the Musketeer or 
Executioner on the Miner. Sure enough, Musketeer does connect to the tower, which is absolutely huge. Let's drop a Baby Dragon, because I'm thinking he wants to send in a Skeleton Army. And if he doesn't, Baby Dragon will take out the Executioner and, and start working on that tower. I think we're going to be able to take it out with our level 5 Baby Dragon. Sure enough, that is what we are able to do. Let's drop some Tombstone action. Let's drop some Arrow action. And sure enough, we're going to be able to take out that level 2 Sparky. Let's keep it moving, but now towards the right. Want to keep the pressure on him while still playing solid defense. He does have the Goblin Barrel out of cycle with my arrows, which is positive for him and negative for us. But I think we should still be able to handle it relatively easily. Let's drop a Mega Minion over here. I still don't even, Has he even seen my Lava Hound yet? I mean, really. Let's drop a Lava Hound right now. He does have the Skeleton Army, so let's drop a Baby Dragon right here. Oh, see, this is what happens sometimes. When you have a dominating deck like this and you play it so well, not to get cocky, because you never want to get cocky in a match. It can always get turned around, and you can be made a fool of from getting cocky. But sometimes they just step away from their device and say, you know what? I'm better off just getting into another one. And I don't blame you, Lalo. It was a it was a good match, but unfortunately you couldn't pull it off. Let's get into another one. Now we're going against David. Now let's see. Is this David versus Goliath? I hope not, because David comes out on top of that. So maybe we can be David and he can be Goliath. Let's see what we can do. Let's start off with the Lava Hound. I normally, I would say, I don't always start off with the Lava Hound, which isn't a bad thing in my opinion. You know, Lava Hound super strong come double elixir because you have the ability to send so many troops in behind it. Now the good thing is we don't really need to deal with this Skeleton Army, which is awesome. They split up evenly. You can tell if you need to deal with the Skeleton Army by the way the Skeletons form in. If it's a single file line, your tower will be able to take it out, which is always nice. So I don't know if this Musketeer is going to lock on to the Lava Hound. It is, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's have a Tombstone here as well. We could have sent in the Miner, but you know what? I'm okay with not doing it. He had a good Fireball. Let's wait on everything. Hopefully Guards take out Musketeer. Awesome. That's solid. And you know what? We did what we needed to do. We're seeing some of his cards. I'm thinking he's probably got a Hog Rider in this deck, which is good. I can deal with a Hog Rider. He's got another Skeleton Army moving in. So let's jump another Lava Hound. Let's send in another Lava Hound. Let's also send in a Mega Minion. Let's see what he's going to do for this. He's going to drop a Tombstone. I can respect that. We're going to drop a Miner on his next Musketeer he wants to play. Which will be really awesome. That's what we want to do. He's going to send in a Valkyrie. Okay, as long as we keep the Musketeer alive, we're good. All right, perfect. So Miner's going to go in right now. He does have the Fireball which he doesn't want to use. So hopefully Mega Minion takes out Musketeer. Beautiful. We're going to be able to take out this left tower, no doubt about it. Now we can start playing some defense. We also saw a Valkyrie from him. That makes me believe even more he's got a Hog Rider. I would say if I didn't, if he doesn't have a Hog Rider, he's probably got Elite Barbarians. So let's see what we can do now, which I'm ready for Elite Barbarians too. Probably more Elite Barbarians than Hog Rider. So what did I tell you? Come on. Come on, guys. you got to be able to call the decks. If you can call the decks, you can win the match. You have a better chance of winning the match. Able to shut down that Hog Rider, which is awesome. Let's send in the Miner. We're ready with the with the arrows for the next Skeleton Army who wants to deploy. Mm, nah, I'm okay with not playing it right at the bridge. Miner's doing work. we got units at the King Tower. We're keeping tons of pressure on him. Let's drop a Mega Minion in the back left. He wants to, he wants to do a Valkyrie Hog push, no doubt about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how this is going to go. We're going to drop a Tombstone all the way over here. Also drop a Musketeer along with that Guards. Now the Guard to distract the Musketeer and the Valkyrie. While my Mega Minion Musketeer do take out his Valkyrie Musketeer combination. So let's send in another Lava Hound. Let's get this cooking up. And I think we're going to be really, really well set up to take out his Love Tower. So let's send in Arrows right now. Tombstone goes down right now. Oh, doesn't pull the Hog Rider. But I think it's going to be okay because we're still going to be able to take him down. And that's what we like to do. Should we get into one more match? I, I think you guys want to see one more match. Getting into this last match against Mr. A's 007. I don't, even, I don't even care. He's a level 10. Let's crush him. Going to start with the Lava Hound in the back left. Oh, good. Good lord. Good freaking lord. Arrows go down for the Goblin Gang and the Balloon. We didn't have the Musketeer. Well, we kind of did, but we played the Lava Hound a little too early. Let's drop a Mega Minion, make sure this balloon doesn't take the tower out. Beautiful. So Mega Minion's going to get away from the death damage, which is awesome. And now we got to deal with all this. Mega Minion does get pulled by Skeletons. We'll also be dropping Baby Dragon. Ooh, Fireball misses Baby Dragon. Now we dropped the Baby Dragon in case we saw a Minion Horde or something along those lines. And because we don't have the arrows right now, 
So we're able to take out the goblins too. Huge. He has to zap as well. Beautiful. Let's drop a musketeer right here. Along with that, some guards just to help out with the musketeer. We're going to be able to stop all that. We should be able to take out this love tower with the lava pups, the baby dragon, the musketeer, the guards, the entire freaking unit. The, unit. the units were building and we took out the tower. That's what we like to do. Now he drops a fireball. Very scared. You should not drop a fireball like that. You're not going to lose your king tower, bud. You're just nervous. Don't play nervous and don't even get nervous. All right. Let's see what we can do now. He does have this devastating balloon. So I really don't want to send in the miner. I really don't want to send in the lava home. So let's drop a tombstone right here. <sighs> and I still don't really want to do anything else. He's got this balloon. And I really want to have the troops to deal with the balloon. He's got a lava hound. Okay, so we're going to go for an aggressive lava hound push of our own. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to be in front of him on damage. We have the level 2 lava hound. We have the baby dragon moving in. We do have all of this. Let's drop arrows right now. And now we need to deal with this balloon. That's the first, that's the next thing on the priority list is we need to deal with this balloon. We need to deal with it soon too. So as long as we can take out the balloon, we can deal with the goblin gang. We can deal with the whole rest of the, the party that he's got coming our way. So we got rid of the balloon. Great. Now we got to deal with the goblin gang, which shouldn't be too bad. We do have the guards, which is solid, but we will also have a baby dragon. We don't even need the baby dragon. Beautiful. But he does have another balloon moving in. So we're going to arrow this. The lava pups go down. Also drop a mega minion. We can't allow this balloon to get more than one shot off. Beautiful. We do not allow that to happen. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we did need. And now we're going to play solid defense for the next 30 seconds. We're going to drop the baby dragon. We're going to drop the, the guards, the tombstone all the way in the back. Pull that freaking big son of a gun back there. He's got his balloon moving in. 18 seconds left and the balloon goes for the wrong tower. Mega minion, baby. Mega freaking minion. That's what we love to see. So we're going to be able to do that. He does have a fireball, but he will not be able to deploy it in time. Sure enough, Miner goes in on the tower. Baby Dragon, in case he wants to play something else. Zap, fireball, 171 hit points left, and we're able to take him down. That's how you play smart, calculated defense. Let me show you guys this deck one more time. And just so you guys are aware, we're at an all-time high with this account. 3205, in case you don't believe me. Highest trophies, 3205! Oh, baby, let's open up this clan crown. Let's open up this crown chest together. See if we can pop a legendary right now. Oh, one giant skeleton. Phenomenal. We did not need that. This is that deck one more time for you guys. I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys try it out. It's incredibly successful. I love this deck so much. Love all the cards that are in it that form the domination that really is the entire whole deck and for 3.8 elixir it's not that expensive but with that being said my social media handles are right below me the links for those are down in the description check them out and as always thank you for watching subscribe down below and i'll catch you all in the next episode